What is up guys, this is Felix and I'm back and I've got a tutorial for you guys on how to make this this abstract kind of sphere from my speed art number four uh, which was uploaded uh, on Pure Bullcrap which is my main channel if you didn't know that already uh, I upload like speed arts and edits and whatnot uh, to this channel so yeah um, so there is no confusion uh, so uh, this is the kind of sphere sphere <laughs> that we're going to be creating um, and uh, if you're are an experienced user I bet you can just watch the speed art and uh, know exactly how to make this this sphere this object uh, but if you are a less experienced user um, well don't you worry son I'm here for you and I'm gonna show you how to make it so uh, let's hop on to cinema 4d so uh, enough rambling let's get to the actual tutorial okay so you wanna grab a platonic here from the primitive objects zoom in a bit and uh, then you want to press C or this button right here loop um, and that's gonna make it editable okay and then you wanna enable the polygon mode right here by clicking that button okay so the technique we're gonna be using now uh, is kind of time-consuming if you have a if you have an object that has many polygons but in this particular object, uh, I don't know if I pronounced that right, it doesn't matter. I'm, I'm Swedish, if you didn't know, so my pronunciation and use of words might strike you as uh, odd at some times. But I hope you understand what I'm meaning and what I'm saying. So uh, let's, just, uh, let's just select a, a polygon here. And then you want to right click and choose Extrude Inner. Okay. And if you hold down and drag to the left, you can see that the offset is increasing. Like, uh, you know, at the bottom right uh, corner of my screen, here you can see the, the offset. Now it's, uh, for example, it's minus 20. And you want to have it at, or, you know, I don't know, 8 or something, 8 meters. That's good, I think. And then you want to select the next polygon. And you want to set the offset to 8. You can do this and you know set it to, to 8. No, that didn't work. <laughs> I'm sorry. And you, you have to select it and obviously drag to the left till the offset is you know somewhere around 8. So we have a fixed number and you, you do this with every polygon in the object. Okay, so I'm going to fast forward this for you. So I'll be right back in a sec. Okay, bye. Okay, so let's pan around this object. Let's orbit around and see what it looks like. If you got every every polygon, you know, uh, in extruded, and it actually looks looks pretty good to me. And uh, I don't know if there's any simpler or easier method on how to do this, but this is the way I do it. It's kind of time consuming, but you know, I think you can spare. In just a couple of minutes of your life doing this if you want to create this object um, so I don't think that's a problem to be honest okay so you want to select the the select tool <laughs> ironically and uh, if you go down here to the options you can see that the radius is 10 uh, and uh, we don't want it to be 10 we want to set it to 1 so the radius of the selection will be smaller a lot smaller so it'll be more accurate. Okay, so you wanna click on the polygons while holding down shift like this. So you wanna select all your polygons that you have inner extruded or extruded inner, I can't remember. Um, like orbit around, keep holding down uh, shift. So you just wanna select all of them here and uh, okay <laughs> ploop 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 okay I think we have them all selected looks to be that way okay and uh, you might want to zoom out a bit and right click okay now you want to hit extrude 
So we got it. We got the extrude tool here, and then you want to click and drag to the right, and then again the offset. Set it to about oh I don't know. So I think I set it to ten when I made this for the first time. So I'll do that. So uh, you can see that we have some extrusions here in our objects, and uh, the, only the polygons that we have selected are affected by this extrude effect or whatever. So. Uh, yeah, that seems quite obvious, but <laughs> uh, oh well. So then you want to right click and go to Extrude Inner and click and drag to the left. And you want to set the offset to about, oh, I don't know, 5 meters. Seems, seems pretty good to me. And uh, then you want to right click again and choose Extrude. And then you want to extrude this uh, to uh, offset minus 10. Okay, now we have the basic object here. Um, you know, this is what it looks like, uh, but it's not done yet. <laughs> so uh, you actually want to go to the you know the, the nerves here, and then you want to grab a hyper nerves. All right, um, that didn't do anything, uh, but that's because uh, this hyper nerves doesn't have any child to it. So we're gonna make the platonic a child of the hyper nerves and we do that by grabbing the platonic and then dragging it up to the hyper nerves to see the uh, the arrow pointing down at the box there and bloop there we go and yeah that's looking kinda kinda freaky and it looks like um, I don't know what it's called I think it's called some kind of uh, asteroid you know, some kind of space object thingy. <laughs> okay, uh, so let's press the hypernerves, and you want to increase the subdivisions in the in the rendering. Um, you, you can uh, include it in the editor as well, but I don't really think that's necessary. Um, and it's gonna make it more smooth. Um, so if you set this to one, yeah, it's not gonna look that smooth in the editor. But when you render it, it's gonna look a lot smoother. Uh, so we can set this to 3, it seems, yeah, that's good. And then you want to choose the platonic, and you can see that we have these uh, these selections. Uh, they are still like active or whatever. And then you want to want to click, double click here to create a new material. Double click again to edit the material. And uh, then you want to go, now actually, let's change the color first. And uh, uh, But let's press OK. And then you want to go, go down to glow and enable the glow. Now you can see that the default, the default, sorry, the default settings here uh, are that inner strength is set to 100% and outer strength is set to about 500%. And um, you want to set this to around 200. That might have been too much, to be honest. Maybe 100. This is a lot of, you know, trial and error. Uh, so you're gonna have to be, you know, you're gonna have to experiment and uh, see how it looks, and then you know, alter it according to your uh, your wish <laughs> or something. Uh, you might want to increase the uh, inner strength to like 200 or maybe 150. You want to take this material and drag it onto our our selection there, and that's gonna make the uh, the material only it, it should only be applied to the to the polygons that we have selected now here's one trick that not a lot of people know about so I'm gonna show you how to do this you can press U and then I and that's gonna invert the selection so before we had uh, you know all these uh, a glowy bluish areas selected but now we inverted the selection so that everything but the previous selected selection <laughs> I'm sorry is selected so um, so now everything but these glowing uh, bluish thingies is selected and then you can create another material make it I don't know black or something and then you can apply that material onto your selection and it looks weird here but when you click away um, and render 
Uh, that's weird. <laughs> this should not be happening, but... Okay, you have to, um, to, <laughs> to begin with the black material, which is quite embarrassing. Um, oh well, just change the, just change up these so we have the black material first, and then the black material selection, and then the blue material, and the blue material selection. Oh well, polygon selection. Okay, so here you have this object, and if you render now, you can see that it's glowing. It doesn't glow in the the in the editor view but when you render it it is glowing definitely so you you might want to add some um, some ambient occlusion and global illumination and spice things up a bit but uh, this is how you create this abstract sphere uh, and uh, thank you for watching this tutorial uh, you know if you liked it and if you learned something please press the little like button below i really appreciate that and uh, other than that, guys, thanks for watching and see you later.